Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back to the Getting Dirty Off-Road channel. Where apparently winter is never going to end. It hasn't been that bad, but, you know, it's trying again. Um, anyways. I don't know if you can see that windshield. You might. I can see a reflection. Yeah. More bad decisions. Yep. This weekend, the wife and I sat there staring at our cell phones, online auction. I mean, it was online, but the place is where we were for the weekend. It's right near there. So, we got a little crazy. Kept sliding them numbers. We didn't spend a whole lot, but we got a little bit to do. So, this right here. I think it's 2009, if I remember right. I don't know. I'm supposed to be going in old cars, not, I, you know, the price of gas. So that's why we were interested in this. Uh, it's really not all that bad. It did say on the listing, uh, four-wheel drive needs work. Now, if you come back here on the gate, which, by the way, we can't get to open. I can get the glass to open. So, that'll do its thing. And then when I did, we looked in the back of here, which I've already moved it, but there was a drive shaft flopping around back here for some odd reason. Um, the gate itself, it's got a electric let me go button right here, and it's not letting me go. To the point we notice this down here, it looks like somebody needed the spare tire. And they wedged this right here so that they could get into that hanger screw. And does it have a spare? I didn't even look. Oh, there's something under there. Quite interesting. Really haven't looked. Um, but yeah, so can't get that to open. Probably the electric popper motor. Um, that's... Yep, they, they they provided the place to make the bad decision. Anyways, overall, it's um, not a bad little rig. It's got a little paint peelage there. Looks like somebody, somebody gas pump posted the heck out of that. Um, inside, it's... I don't know, she's pleather, pea leather, I, something. It's not bad though, really. But yeah, anyways, there's that drive shaft. And we noticed, hey, that's a brand new U-joint right there. So is that what the four wheel drive needs work for? Now, like I said, on the gate, it's got the four WD. That's a lie. There ain't no C-Lac door system up in this car. Whatsoever. So, this is an all-wheel drive. Unless, what's that? I don't know. Is that maybe the four-wheel drive button? Maybe it's a four-wheel drive. I don't know. Guess I better simmer down before I get all mouthy with it. Anyways, I'm pretty sure it's an all-wheel drive car. Um... I did drive it yesterday, brought it home, and I've got the key here. So, the shaft is from, oh, right about that section right there of the car. So I drove it home on the front wheel drive option. And how far did we drive it home? Oh my goodness, shut that off. That is copyrights. Gee whiz. Oh, it wants me to close the door. What if I don't want to? Okay, fine. Okay, fine. Tire pressure sensor faults because there aren't any sensors. So, while I was driving it, I don't know, you might not be able to see. According to the info center, I was getting 23.8 miles per gallon. And she's got a lot of miles, 235,000. 
But my son and I rack the miles up for work to the point that we just don't care. Oops, I hit the reset. Sorry. That'll come back to me. So I did 258.8 miles on the front wheel drive system. For a little bit of it, it was a little bit howly on the front end. On the gear, stopped. It uh, stopped howling. I don't know. I've heard maybe the uh, all-wheel drive systems, they, they kind of get out of sync if you have a missing link. I don't know for sure. I don't, you know me, I don't know nothing. Now, running the whole time, I did have the check engine light on the whole way, so I may go get that plugged in and see if I can figure out why. But really, it ran great, drove great, rode great. So we're going to look in the bottom of this thing and see what we can figure out. All righty. Your eyes are not deceiving you. We have a lift. Now, we did this on our own, so I'm not going to try to advertise or promote this lift. Not sponsored, not paid to do so. Just, it's something we felt I needed. You know, I just wanted it, basically. But, you know, when I'm swinging out there on a chain under a demo car off the skid steer, I decided it was time for a lift. Now, I do want to say, keep your eyes out. You see the name on this lift, you might want to check them out. This, in my opinion, is probably the best one on the market. I didn't really put my eyes and hands on all the options. But when we were down at that car show down there in that Mesquite, Nevada, there was a four-poster just like this down there. Well, actually, it didn't even compare to this. After looking into this and in my little bit of research I did on the interweb things. I actually did not even go over there around that lift. They had a truck on it. It was all the way up. And I'll be honest with you, it actually scared me just the way it looked. I'm not saying that it's not a good lift. I just wasn't comfortable walking over there myself. This, for me, was the best option. My wife did all this for me, so when she made contact, she actually spoke with one of the owners that came up with this. He treated her like family, just like she was part of his own family. Very nice, very cordial, very helpful. Went through everything, treated her like she was anybody that he would sit down and have dinner with. You know, it's sad to say, but it's still hard for a woman to communicate in the car culture of any sorts. They're just not treated well. And I'm telling you, my wife doesn't let that happen. There have been companies who have lost money over the way they treated her. This place, I'd buy it again. They treated her very well. They took care of everything. This day and age, the, the massive amount of things that are on back order is just mind blowing. So this was back ordered for two or three extra weeks, more than it usually would be, but we expected it. So that we ordered it when we did so that we could have it now. Um, like I said, keep your eyes on this. I'm not promoting it in any way. I'm not paid or sponsored to do so. If you guys are watching though, I got some more space over that way or accessory, you know, I quit it. Stop bagging. Anyways, we're on the lift now. We're gonna get her up a little bit more. I'm gonna show you what I could see while I was laying on my back in the dirt. And then maybe I'll see some more now that I can get it up here. I'll tell you what, this thing is sure going to be handy. It's going to save on the old backbone, you know. It's not getting any younger back there, so. I'm going to love this thing like I love my skid steer. 
I've always said my skid steer was the best thing I ever bought, but I think it's catching a run for its money now. Alrighty, got my homemade shop light and my store-bought shop light. What we're gonna do is put this drive shaft in. So right here is where the U-joint goes. There's a carrier bearing here. And then a U-joint back at the flange on the rear gear assembly. It's all independent suspension all the way around. But it's got a little rear end gear about that big. It's kind of cute. So when I was driving it, this shaft was turning the whole time. There was a chance I might have been doing 80 miles an hour. And it was fine. Over here, this kind of cup looking piece, that is connected up to the, I guess, transfer case, you'd probably call it. But it's all wheel drive, so I don't know nothing about it, you know? That's how I do things. But anyways, I just did the roll test. And this uh, cup style flange piece here from your transfer box is turning against the park pin, just like the front tires. Back tires are turning. Park pin is keeping us from going anywhere, but this piece of the shaft is also turning. So. It's all turning together. We're just missing the shaft right here. And like I said, I think maybe it just needed a new U-joint, which is already in the shaft, thrown in the back of the car. I don't know. That's what happens when you do those online auctions. You just get what you get. So let's go ahead and put this back and see That's kind of a wobbly joint, I guess, but side to side it wobbles, but there's no play like maybe the splines are bad. I, I don't know. It just said it needed four-wheel drive work, you guys. Let's see if it'll work. Okay, so there's that. Rut row. We're going to have to turn until we get our U-joint on. And then hopefully... Some bolts will turn and line up right, or we're going to have a real problem. Okay, so there's a hole there, and we're pretty darn close there. So, I think it's all going to come back together. So that's where that shaft's going to go, okay? Now, when we initially gave it the once over, when we picked it up, we went, oh, where's the bolts? Uh-oh. This was in the back. I should probably go up a notch or two. But anyways, this was in the back. We didn't even open the box. We just thought, well... It needs an airflow sensor too. Maybe that's why the check engine light's on. Yesterday I opened it. There's all the bolts. So we lucked out on that. Especially with these guys that go on the front part, that cup thing that, you know, it's about that freaking, well, it's about that deep. All right. So luckily we do have everything right here to put it back together so we might as well see if it'll run okay now on this front we've got these straps with these torx tip headed screws bolts thingamajiggers for some reason it looks like there's a little piece of silicone but i don't think that's necessary in his, over here on this flange, I can kind of see where these straps went bolt to bolt. So I'm just going to go for that, kind of try to get back where it was. Ooh, and it's actually pretty close to the hole, so. 
Oh, kind of fell into place right there. And on this end, we're not that far off, so I think it's probably going to work out okay. And then I did find me a torx tip on a socket, so that's pretty handy. So get those screwed into there now. Well, at least this one. Maybe we should strap the back and then do the rest. How about that? Sure. Give me a little ratchet too. I brought back inside from somewhere. Now, I'm not going to go tight here yet. We might need a little play and everything, so we'll back off just a little bit. Okay. Ring around the rosy. Five more boltsies. Alrighty, have gone up a little bit on us. You're just barely looking over. And what I'm gonna do is uh, get these straps back on. And I think that little tab right there should probably go on the outside so it kind of matches up with the flangulator. So, well, let's see. Nope, I was wrong. So I'm looking at... Uh, these spots right here where you can tell the old uh, U-joint cap was. And that's how I'm going to put them back on. So that it is like it was. I don't really think it actually matters which way you go, honestly. But I'm just matching her up the way she was. And I even found me a little eight millimeter wrench. So I think as long as everything screws back together and nothing else is a mess, it's probably gonna be okay. Seems it should be. Caps are Going down in there where they should while well, they were. Come on now. Let's not get too grumpy with me. I will win. Okay, yeah, that's back in there where it should be. Okay, good girl. I wonder what we should call you. Hmm. Any ideas? I don't know how long it'll be around here, but. The price of diesel is a little high, so the running them high miles to work, my son and I both do. Might not be a bad idea to have something that'll do that. Really helps when you don't necessarily care about it, too. I'm just kidding. I care. I love you. I already love you. 250 miles and I'm in love well there you have that and there's some grease slung around there was somebody trying to grease the old one and it didn't work or was it this one and something happened they took it back out hmm uh, guess we'll find out Alrighty, let's go ahead and put this other strap up in there. Like that. And a little bolt. Then I think after this one, maybe we'll turn around and catch another one on the front. I don't know. What do you guys think? Should we just maybe just finish one side first? Nah. We don't want to actually finish anything. Make sure that you round off your bolt heads when you get them good and tight. 
Yeah, maybe we'll spin around to the other side now that that's actually in that shaft where it should be yoke to yoke. Alrighty, now we've got it way up here. Boy, I tell you what, I can't thank my wife enough for making this happen because it sure is nice to stand here straight up and down and reach to put in these funky bolts. I am definitely going to enjoy this thing. Maybe I should have started on the top, huh? Well, you know what? I can let it back down a little bit. Gee whiz. But this sure is nice. Just snug until we get all the others. Okay, that'll do, that'll do. Looks like I do have a little bit of an oil drip off from the uh, plug in the oil pan. So that's probably something might need a new crush washer or Teflon washer or whatever it's supposed to have might need to be done at the oil change whenever I get to that. All right, now I'm just showing off because I had to go grab a step stool to get up in here for this guy. So, basically, how do you like me now? Probably not that much. I'll tell you what, I like it. I'd much rather reach upward than be twisted up downward. Okay. You know, this thing, it's really kind of coming right back together. I sure do hope may, this joint or nothing's all messed up. Because I'd really like to just shoot her up and down the highway and get as many more miles as it'll get. Alrighty. I've... Come back down to reality, I'll stop showing off, okay? Let's get this done. The wife is yelling at me for playing around instead of getting this car done so that we can go to town and see if it's gonna work or not, okay? So, I had to bring her back down here where I could see. Now also, I had that bottom strap bolt tight. Um, Mostly just so that I could get the U-joint set back in there. I did have to loosen it back up a little bit so I could get this top one into its proper home here. So now we're doing that. Let's get these things done, all right? I know this video is probably not going to be very long and you're probably going to be pretty happy about that. But as long as this works, you won't see this again maybe we'll have it in here for other things but i'll check the uh lube levels in the diffs and uh, those kinds of things but you know i think i think i can probably manage that without telling you all about it if you do want to know or see let me know um like I said, this was an online auction car that we were sitting at my brother's kitchen table watching on the telephones and well, then we had to drive down a couple towns to go get it. But it may have just been worth it. When you look at uh, the fact we didn't spend a whole lot, it's getting... 23, 24 miles per gallon on the front wheel drive. I don't know if that'll change putting this shaft back in, but um, anyways, a lot of miles on it. We'll probably put a lot more on it, but if it all works out, it dang sure didn't cost us very much if I can get a couple months out of it versus the price of diesel fuel. I've already paid for itself, you know, so that's kind of why we ended up with it here. So we'll get this last bolt twisted up in there, quarter turn at a time, of course. 
And then uh, I'll flip back around on the front. This portion of it will be finished. That carrier bearing for that many miles on it, you know, it's got flex in it, but it's not torn up or anything. So I think we're going to be able to run on that. My guess is it just had a bad U-joint right here, and whoever uh, changed out the U-joint just didn't put the shaft back in before it went to auction, or maybe it was the auction house themselves. I, I'm not sure. I didn't ask. They didn't say. But isn't that part of the fun is trying to guess to figure out what's going on? Well, sure, you say, sure. This is also, I don't think I mentioned, this is the V6 model. And like I said, it cruised really good. I was impressed. Basically, now I'm just talking to fill up the camera time while I put these last three bolts in here and twist the tips off from them as if you wanted to hear me speak anymore i mean geez Ooh. that might be might not be in there right not catching the thread there maybe i need to Back these up a little bit and give it a jiggle. Is that what it needs? Come on, you guys. Uh oh, my light died. You know, I like this light, but it sure don't last a whole long time, really. Oh, yeah. There we go. Now, let's see. Is it just that hole? I already got three in there. Maybe it is just that way. I don't know. Let's see. Let's see what it says on these two. Maybe it is just that one. I might have to give it the little toe tapper. Yeah, I think so. Okay, okay. One right there is about the only one. Maybe if I come on this side, it won't be complicated. Yeah, that'll be better. It's better over here. I sure hope it was just that you joint and uh, somebody didn't feel like putting it back on the dirt, you know, where you can't see nothing. Okay, this is the one that didn't want to go. Maybe I just didn't push in far enough. Oh, yeah, I was just being a sissy, I think. Yep, my little frail fingers just wasn't able to get it down in there is all. So I think I might do the old cross pattern just like putting a tire on because uh, this flangey piece kind of fits inside of this cup piece, you know, whatever they're called. But uh, I'll do the star pattern so that I can make sure it's actually seated all the way in there. And of course, good and tight. Oh yeah. Okay, you want to be grumpy about it, huh? Just a little bit, eh? Oh yeah, just a little bit, that'll do. Now this guy right there. Oh yeah. might have got the double click perfect and while I'm doing this I'm kind of you see I'm holding the end of the ratchet just trying to make sure that I stay straight in line on this Torx tip then I can give it the beans 
lighten up here for the last one. All right, seems like, uh, seems like it's all the spec now. So let me clean off these rails. That's something I'm gonna have to get used to. Get my shop light. All righty. I'm gonna go ahead and leave the hood on. She's a little chill out. I think I'm going to call it on this one for now. If we do something later on, we may bring it in. Maybe not. This is basically just going to rip up and down the highways until I just won't do it anymore. Um, going to drop this lift down, back it out of here. I should know pretty quick if there's any issues putting that drive shaft back in there. If there is, I'll bring it in right now, which... I don't know why I did that because I'll end up cutting all of that out and you won't even see it anyways. But I surely do appreciate you guys tagging along with me. And, you know, if I got to buy online auction cars to stay off the couch, I'm going to do it. So, hope you liked it. Let me know. You know everything else. Catch you next time.